What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Andrew. It's a pleasure to see you as always and welcome to yet another installment of Work Harder Wednesday. <laughs> That's right, it's Work Harder Wednesday, and as I posted last week, this week's Work Harder Wednesday is going to be a collaborative effort. I asked you guys to share with me on Instagram or Twitter some of your favorite drills that you do in your practice, and the response was good, so I got some good ones. I'm going to share them with you guys, give a little attention to some of the viewers out there that are watching the channel and supporting the channel and working hard on their golf game, and I'll just add a little bit of input or or insight into these drills or practice routines if I've done them or if I haven't even done them and what I think of them. So let's go. The first one we've got is a great one. Great putter he's got in here too using that spider. But this is uh, Instagram handle King Jimmer. I believe his name is James. This is just straight up the putting gate. Put the ball in between two tees that is just basically ever so slightly larger or wider than, than the head of your putter. And this is just gonna ingrain into you how to hit the center of the putter face and how to keep that stroke on path, but also really help with the alignment. I do this a lot. I'll do it from anywhere from six feet and in. I think when you go a little further out from six feet and try to put a gate up, you're just over complicating things. The longer the putts, um, the more feel is involved, but the shorter putts six feet and in, this is a great drill to do to make sure you're hitting the center of the club face. And if the, the pace of the stroke is off, the arc's gonna change, you're gonna maybe clip the tees. And you can kind of make this as hard or as easy as you want. You can narrow those tees in to be just bigger than the putter head or you know a quarter inch bigger than the putter head. So you have some room for error, but this is an awesome drill. So thank you so much for sharing this, James. Here we have a good one from Hagar. Yeah, I believe that's how I pronounce your name. Just using the eye line, using a putting aid. You've seen I use the, the Vizio putting mat, but having something like this is really, really great. Your setup, your alignment, your lines, and just make your putting something repeatable. So using this eye line, it's gonna be good. It gets, you can see there's a little gate in there, and then it looks like he has some tees set up here. So maybe he hits the putts from these varying lengths, but also the eye line mirror is gonna ingrain you a constant uh, eye line where that where your eyes are at address so awesome one here Hager this one by will pretty awesome pretty simple you've got an alignment stick alignment sticks you see everyone use them from the PGA Tour and on down they're just something that's so great on the driving range on the putting green wherever it may be just getting you lined up body club face target all of that so this is something really simple but really really awesome so thanks for sharing will swings looking good there man last one i'm going to share here with you is actually a really cool one that um eli beaverson has shared with me he actually has a youtube channel that he's making golf content practice videos recap of his tournaments really good little um, junior golfer i believe he's 18 correct me if i'm wrong i believe he's 18 over in um Indiana, I think that's where he is. When you watch this one, you'll see there's some, some good production value. He's used the drone, he's edited it uh, really good. So I'm just gonna let Eli take this one over for the next minute and explain to you guys one of these great drills. My name is Eli Beaverson and Andrew for my Work Harder Wednesday drill, I've selected a pitching drill, which gives me good elements of block practice, but also enhances my feel around the greens. So let's take a look at it. Okay, I've given myself about a 30 yard pitch shot this is the block practice element of this drill. This alignment stick right here is to make sure my feet and body are aligned properly to the target. And this one is for my backswing checkpoint to make sure that my backswing is taking off on the correct plane every time. For the feel part of this drill, I've hit a few practice shots to see where I'll need to be landing the golf ball. And I've put a golf towel down at that point, so I'll be trying to land the golf ball on this each and every time and let it release to the hole. Really cool drill from Eli. This can be used in a varying degrees, really. You can use it from any distance you like. You can use it from short range, long range, bunker shots. Throwing that towel down a place where to land the ball is really, really good because it then helps with your visualization. And I've talked about using coasters in the past. Um, I'll link that video below. 
but this one from Eli is awesome. I'll link his YouTube channel below as well, so you can go check out some of his other videos. That's it guys, four awesome drills shared by you, the viewers. I can't thank you enough. This is really cool. Uh, hopefully we can do this some more moving forward. And that's it for this week's Work Harder Wednesday. I'm teeing it up tomorrow in the tournament. Looking forward to this one. The game is feeling good. So hopefully I can report some, some good play in a couple days to you guys. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe. There's links below for, for some more practice routines and for Eli's YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys in a couple days. Peace.